It's Ubisoft News Plays. I'm your host, Chris Waters. We're playing Rayman. Let's do something. It's Rayman Legends Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch. Thought it would be fun to play a little bit of uh, some zany platforming action. Hello, UB Fate. Hello, folks in the chat. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. We stream from home out here. And uh, it's a little, you know, day to day. Fiesta de los muertos. That's how I'm feeling right now. Feeling like I'm cooked in a pot. Just kidding. Nothing happened. Everything's cool. We be cool. You know what's up. <laughs> hey, wild card. Ah, let's go, Yeet Patrol. Let's go, indeed. <gasps> Playing with a new character I just unlocked. She's got a sword. Her name's Aurora. I think. Ooh. Aurora. Except I would, like, train myself to say Aroa because of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, but... Oh, God, it's a wizard. <laughs> and, and I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken. This... This doesn't... I'm a chicken... <laughs> I'm a chicken jumping through... Candy Dessert Land. Let's fight a skeleton. Chicken headbutt. Good thing I'm wearing this helmet. Ooh yeah. Take it. Get it from a chicken. Oh, what's up? Is my buddy Murph here? Yeah, Murph. How you doing? <sighs> Murph, what are we doing? Oh, you're eating cake for me. Oh, excellent. Give me these lums though. Oh man, this is regenerating cake. I mean, I'm not mad about it. Like, on principle. Like, regenerating cake. Good thing or bad thing? I guess, probably, good thing if it's like a party. Bad thing if it's like, I don't know, your overall health. <laughs> Murph, eat the cake. Oh, you're doing like this zany fly around thing. Oh, no, okay. Okay, yeah, but that's where I want to be. Oh, no, not crushed by cake. I do not want to be crushed by cake. That's what I want. Give me them buddies. Chicken fly. So... Folks, Rayman Legends came out a while back, but this is the definitive edition on Switch. They added some uh, touch controls to go with the Switch screen, as well as some motion controls. Since we're streaming it, I can't uh, like necessarily show that stuff because I got to keep it in docked mode in order to get the input to the t to the computer box. So I'm playing on the Pro Controller. Yikes. Oh no! Oh no! Is it possible to kill lums? I, th I think it is. <laughs> okay. Oh. Did it again! Oh, lots of lum carnage on my watch. RIP lums. Maybe they just like. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a little dicey. Okay, no, fine, fine. I didn't get squashed by the giant spike on my cake. Yeah, let's go. Give me this turn up. Boom, ba boom. Ah, oh, so, any news today, folks? <laughs> I see some of you mentioning this, uh, but yeah, today, in a very big surprise to me personally, and a bunch of folks here, uh, Michel Ansel, creator of Rayman and uh, longtime Ubisoft video game developer, uh, decided to announce that he was ending his career in the video game industry after 30 years. He's not gonna be working at Ubisoft, he's not gonna be working on video games, he's working on other projects. He posted on his Instagram, uh, and though it's like very serendipitous that I decided to stream in this game, given that he's the creator of Rayman, uh, this was a total surprise to me. So it is a fun, fun morning. Uh, but yeah, if you want to read more about it, we've got an article up. And I'm going to post it for you in the Twitch chat. If you're not sure what, uh, if you're not watching on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, just go to news.ubisoft.com. You can find out more about it. It's an update from the Beyond Good and Evil 2 team, which is, of course, the game that uh, Michelle Antel was working on most recently. Oh, no. Uh, I don't want to be in that. That doesn't look good. Am I supposed to fill? Am I supposed to cook? Mm, no, I think I want to sneak underneath this. So if you folks want to know a little bit more about that news of the day, that's where to go. You like go off there? Oh, that's like a that's like a safe haven for me under there. But if I go directly into a pit, you know, there we go. Hey, Kaiser Dark Axe, welcome to the stream. I'm going back in there. Come on. Hey, snack, snake, snake. It's snake. Okay. Here we go. Get in here. Oh no! Oh gosh, that was a little dangerous. Mm, but actually what I want to do is this, and then that. Got to get whatever this party lava is out of my face so I can rescue the Teensy King! Hey, buddy. Do I get a smooch? No. Snack. 
<laughs> Sorry, Snake. <laughs> oh, all right, where are we going now, Murphy? This looks fine, right? I can step on this. Yeah, okay. Just a bowl of guacamole or something. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. The wall jump. Chickens can wall jump. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, right onto the spikes. No, tomatoes! No! <laughs> I missed the tomatoes! Uh, hey, Captain Sean. Welcome to the chat. Howdy, dude. Zort. Come on. Wall jump. Wall jump, you little chicken. You know, of all the video game fates, being turned into a chicken, I mean, not the worst, but, you know, a little bit. Like, certainly a limiting factor in, you know, your career and what kind of options you got. Okay, does it seem like I should actually go and jump on top of that thing by making this call now? Can I, though? No, it's too high. Mm -hmm. Small jumps, small jumps, small jumps! I'm just gonna leave some llamas on the table. It's all good. Oh yeah, come on. I won't murder you this time, I promise! <laughs> they're safe! Oh, the little llamas, they're safe! So this is a game that I am playing solo because there is not online multiplayer. Uh, but you can play this game co-op with up to four players, and it's really fun. And also, kind of nice because... Oh, what? Murph can straight up mark those dudes? No, he just went onto the... Uh, what do you call it? Cake. Spikes. Spikes, that's the word. All right, I missed that guy up there. That's fine. I'm just going to run into a pit. Didn't mean it! Bleep. You play it. Cooperative up to, up to four players. I've played this a lot with my, like, nieces and nephews, and uh, while they are slightly bananas when they play this game, it's very helpful because you get to do the, like, bubble thing where if one of you dies, uh, you become a little bubble, and and then someone can get you back in the action by whacking you, because whacking is the name of the game. You have a lot more whacking powers when you're not a chicken. What okay. What do? Um, okay, we're gonna run so fast! <laughs> Daring chicken do. <gasps> the cake does regenerate, Fire Spartan. Wow, straight into the pit! Fire Spartan, I'm putting that one on you. I was reading your chat message. Uh, sorry, you got, you got teensy, or you got teensy blood on your hands. That's just the risk you take when coming into these live streams. You may be responsible for crimes against teensy humanity. Uh, but hey, that's life. You know what, skeletons? You guys can chill. You're not really bugging me. And I'm just gonna leave those down. There. In the name of progress! Yeet Patrol used to play this on PS3, now you play on PC. Nice, yeah, it's on a bunch of platforms. Oh, okay, I'll take that. No, Murphy, Murphy, move the cake. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, no, I want this to go away. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Wait for this cake to come back. Cranky Lemur. Friend Murphy does not randomly eat the cake. I have to press a button for him to get cake. To eat the cake. He is not completely unruly. Okay, this I want to. Oop! Give me that! Yeah. No. Die death by cake. Uh, Murph is also, like, controlling Murphy is also one of the things you can do with the, um, if you're playing the Switch in handheld mode, you can, like, uh, do some swipeies with your finger to control Murphy. Okay, this is how chickens get even better at flying. Oh, oh, okay, this one is spikes. Yeah, we're gonna let the juice out. Now what do we do? Mm, presumably this. Oh, right, it's the, um, oh, flutter, flutter. No, not into the spikes! See? I, like, swelled up into a little bubble. That's what happens when you don't die when you're playing in co-op. It's, but it's local. That's why I'm all alone with just chat to keep me company. Let them eat cake, Mirabella. Let Murphy eat cake. I don't understand this little creature's metabolism. It's certainly consuming a lot of cake. Even cake with spikes? I mean, that's one hell of a stomach lining. But listen, he's a quasi-mystical creature. Uh, yeah, I don't want to dump all this onto me first. Oh, gosh! What did I just say about dumping it onto me? <laughs> oh, God, I literally did it. I have no patience. <sighs> it is about timing for eating the cake. Yes. Cranky Lemur, as I've just demonstrated impeccable timing for cake eating. Impeccable timing only on Ubisoft News Plays. That's 
the theme of this morning. <laughs> Impeccable timing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Letting it all go. I'm not touching it. I'm letting it continue to go. Oh, I'm so patient. You know what? I can actually just go through. No. I'm gonna wait. It's dripping. Okay, here we go. Chicken, flap! Flap your chicken wings! I'll save you! Chicken stomp! Boom. Chicken stomp! Boom. Chicken stomp! Okay. Got that. Got that fella. Ba boom. I can get over it! This guy wants to get busted by a turn up. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this turn up in the ground. Ding dong ding. Uh, <laughs> it's so much teensy smashing. Errant teensy smashing. That's the name <laughs> of the stream. Just utter recklessness with these poor little teensies. That's all you're gonna give me, Murph? Fine. Feels like you're really getting a little lazy over there. Sleeping on a job. Well, I appreciate your discretion at this point, given, you know. Oh, 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 okay. oh, I'm oh I'm not gonna get this one. I got the spiked. I got the spiked and said cake jib. <laughs> Sadness, you down with the cake. Cake vibes on a Friday morning. I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, the spiky cake, that's a little much. It's a little. What's the closest thing to spikes you would put in a cake? Like cr some crunchy little. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Mm. Super delicate operation. I'm just gonna leave that coin. Two tries. Is it a third times the charm kind of morning, or is it a a, a mess it up once? Okay, try it again. If I mess it up again, just move on, Chris. Move, move on with your life. Well, I guess this is gonna determine. If I get it, third times the charm. Okay, great. That's the theme. Oh, bingo. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh god. Okay. No. Give me that. Okay. Chicken. Chicken. Murph, 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 Murph. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <sighs> Can I go over here? No, I'm just gonna... Uh, I don't like that rumbling noise. Okay. Ominous rumbling. <gasps> the whole place is collapsing? I mean, it's a sh it's structurally, like, it's built on cake and assorted other foodstuffs. I can't imagine that's a very, uh, you know, long-term infrastructure kind of situation. Hup. Hup, 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 hup. I don't need to do the flutter through this because I'm a chicken. I got ups. Okay, this is like a... Oh, got him. Yes. What is this, butter? Oh, gosh. It's very slippery. Flan? This is maybe flan. I think it's flan. Oh, we made it to the end. Hooray! I'm not a chicken anymore. Yeah. Hey, Rocky. Welcome to the chat. Rayman Legends. I'm saying... This is a good one. Oh, just shy of the lucky scratch card because of all the little lums I sent to their death. I'm death! Yeah, death. For sure death. It's rated E. <laughs> okay, so you un you get these little teensy dudes. You unlock new spots. And that one looks weird. That one looks weird. Everything looks weird. But it's not weird, it's like very vibrant. All right, let's take a look at all the levels real quick here first that I have unlocked. Uh, so we've got like, start off with your Teensy's in Trouble, then your Toad Story. You jump into these paintings and there's a whole bunch of levels in them. We're on three skulls, Fiesta de los Muertos. So I just want you to know that the Lum Carnage was a lot lower on the earlier levels. 20,000 Lums under the sea. Olympus Maximus. Oh, it's Olympus Maximus. I'm actually going to go back to here with uh, the... Hey, Bondwin. Welcome to the chat. Uh, this one's got sausages in it, but the theme, the name is Spoiled Rotten. Rotten sausages? Well, I don't know. Sounds yucky. But we're going to give it a try. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, you want a wall jump? Okay, so now I get to be like a full-sized sword throwing. Okay, yep. 
Yep, gotta climb. Ha ha! Moving platforms. Give me that part. That's what the turnips are good for. Use horn to change size. <laughs> now we teeny. Oh, can we take... Still pack a big punch? Yes, we can. Uh, uh, this is not the greatest time to go on this. Uh, okay, yep. Yep, yep. Go, go, go. But is there anything else to, like, grab over there is the question. The key is, like, the little backtrack, find the secret move. Yeah! Boom. Hooray. I have freed another. Whoa! <laughs> I thought I was going to hit that platform for sure. I didn't. It's fine. Zip. Yes, H4 rune. This game is multiplayer. Uh, local multiplayer. So, hence why I'm playing solo this morning. Bonk. Wow. Clobbered. Get. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm tiny again. Tiny times to a secret. Yay! Oh, Isaac Flores. That's not the kind of language we're looking for here, buddy. Do you have a Un poquito. Well, my Spanish teacher would not be happy to hear me say un poquito. But look, I'm gliding on flan here, okay? What do you want from me? Living that flan life. H for Rune, it's local multiplayer only, so you gotta have someone in the place you're playing it with. And to play it with them. It's not an online sitch. Oh no, make it! Okay. Okay, yeah. Like, a lot of these, some of these levels, which I really like is are like contingent on are like uh they're easier to do if you keep your momentum like if you keep pressing forward if you don't like hedge your bets try to like helicopter flap or whatever um like if you just charge forward boldly then you can uh and you'll have more success not every one of them mind you oh this guy wants it come here bonesy i got a big sword for you ka -chow! That is a good sword. No, come back here. Come back here. Oh, they jumped onto the bottom side of that, which was the knife part. And I ran straight into that skeleton. Well, he got his vengeance. Or she. Skeletons don't really have gender. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Spoiled rotten. In the middle of a rotten apple. James and the giant peach style. But now I'm a tiny. Now I'm so wee. I'm so little. Oh, I guess I have to be little here. Whoa, why am I, why am I sliding? The inside of this is very slippery. <laughs> Went around to try to get that coin and I jumped onto the bones. Vengeance against Bone Boy. Come back. Come back. No, missed it. Give me the horn. Whoa, no, I missed it. No, oh. The watermelon was too slippery that time. You're wrong. It's mine. Oh, didn't even need more of my worm friend. Thanks, though. Very considerate of you, worm friend. Come here, I'm gonna get you! Oh, wow, I did not, uh... The ground pound was... No, I planned it. I planned it. Everything I do in this is very planned, except for the murders, which are not planned. Um, okay, how do I get up to those guys? Oh, well. Yeehaw! Oh, fork. No, no, thank you. Oh, jeez. Not expecting that. Okay, let's go back over here. No. Oh, tomato. Oh. Oh, oh. Sausage. Oh. Sausage wall climb. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm just going to get to the top corner and it's going to be like, no, nope, you need to just go the other way, buddy. Is it? Is that truly what will happen? Yes, it is. Hit the Come here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This game is made in a game engine called the UV Art Framework, I believe. Which a num which like Valiant Hearts was also made in and Child of Lights. A number of Ubisoft games. Pretty cool, pretty creative little uh little endeavor here. I see a lot of Rayman fans in the chat. 
I mean, these games. I didn't actually play, like, the original Raymans. I didn't have, like, a, I think it's a PlayStation at the time or whatever. So I haven't played a ton of Rayman except once, uh, so, like, basically once. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Once Origins came around, that was my first real, like, Rayman times, which I really enjoyed. And so thus, Legends as well. Oh, gosh. The knives are in the watermelon. Okay. 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 Okay, I think I did it! Oh, flawless extraction. Nothing could go wrong. Yes. Make me big again, please. It's just, you know, it's a little more reassuring, I think. Hey, Patmon. Hey, Francisco Mendez. Welcome to the Twitch chat, folks. We're streaming Rayman Legends Definitive Edition on Nintendo Switch. And back where I started. Okay, here we go. Get up on this tomato. Incremental gains in altitude. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Oh, I can't jump on the side of that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, they were just, they just wanted to play music together and be friends. Get paid. Uh, sorry. Can't play music together and be friends if you're in my way. I have a sword. Oh, oh no. Oh, got you. I think we're gonna get turned into a tiny here. Stork! <laughs> I do like that. Uh, that like horn flourish. Okay, we can walk on the chain, go back to tomato town. I'm already, down, already, I'm already hearted up. No worries. What's down here inside the watermelon? Oh, a little friendo. Hi, buddy. I'll free you. I got you. Oh, yeah, another one. And another one. Uh oh, the music has changed. Okay, now we gotta go down through the sausage maze. Okay, we got some. No, no, don't hang. Don't. I don't need you to hang on the edge. I need you to straight up fall off the edge. Okay. This. Oh god. This reminds me. I grew up outside Boston, and in Boston, there's a great museum called the Children's Museum, and they have this like multi-story climbing maze, which is like a. It's just a big open box, but there are just platforms, maybe like th four feet four feet and these platform floors have like holes cut out of them so you could like climb up through here climb up through here uh and it was super fun as a kid to crawl through until you got big enough that it became super claustrophobic to crawl through and then it wasn't fun uh but it was like two stories uh and that's what that sausage maze reminded me of except the museum had less flames and spinning blades at least as i remember Folks, if you're just joining us, it's Ubisoft News Plays. I'm Chris Waters, you're one of your regular hosts. Yusuf McGee's the other host. If you're missing him, don't worry, he'll be back next week. Just taking a little time. You know, we all need to take a little time sometime. Sometimes. Uh, playing Rayman Legends Definitive Edition on Nintendo Switch. Got my pro controller here. Bingo, bingo. And we're playing, we're gonna mix it up now because I've been, I, I unlocked this new hero at the beginning of the stream. I wanna see some different heroes. Uh, I think I was playing as Glowbox when the stream started because Glowbox is my man. I like Glowbox. The, the super big slap. It's so good. Oh, let's go ahead and unlock Estelia. And then we'll switch to her. I mean, you know, we'll also, we'll also show you off some, some Rayman. In multiple costumes. So you get to, you'll get to pick the uh, Rayman costume here in a little bit. Run. It's running time. Remember how I was saying before that, like, some of the levels' momentum is key? Oh, look, there's, <laughs> there's flames. And also, like, some of them, they time it to the music, so it's, like, almost a rhythm game. I'm not sure if this one is one such one of those. But you'll have to tell me. Okay. Don't... Oh, go! Ah! I did not need to float right there. I do need to float here. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Sorry, it's got really in the zone. Go, go, go. It's just a nice, like, when... This is... Sorry. I like it when platforming games have levels that mix up the pace. You know, it's it's not like a... Oh, gosh. It's not like something that no game does, or they're like... But it is something that this game does, and it's really nice. No! Not the flames! Oh, where do I start from? Okay. Little checkpoint. 
I'm using my helmet wings to fly. I like it. Okay, here we go. Fast. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. But also fast is fast. So let's just go fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah. To quote the bard, gotta go fast. I'm not gonna do the jump kick that she did, because table? <laughs> that would hurt myself. These noises remind me of Croc from PS1, said Snake. Croc? I don't know that one. I must go now, but Chris, do the floss. All right, Boris. You can't, you can't tell I'm doing it super good, though. It's, it's just like the most, most goodest floss you've ever seen. Just for you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the stream. <laughs> oh, Sly Cooper. Is that who you're talking about? Sly Sponge Man? E-Gang pretty much 100% of this game got all the heroes. Nice. Yeah, there's definitely like the, it's one of those games that like getting a little like, well, I'm on the, I'm on the second level of awesomeness. I'm not, I'm a little like moderately awesome. I don't know. What level of awesomeness did you end up at, E-Gang, for 100%ing? This princess from Fiesta de los Muertos world used to party all year long, but when her world was attacked, she was the first to rise against the enemy. Honestly, you look a lot like Aurora. Are you, are you cousins? What, what are you rocking? Oh, skull hammer! Yeah, we can do a skull hammer. Uh, but first, we're gonna scratch. We're gonna do some scratchers because this is another one that is now is touch screen when you uh, when you do it on the handheld mode for Nintendo Switch. New challenge painting unlock. Weekly challenge. I'm gonna do the weekly challenge. I've never done one of these. Connecting. Mm, on the internet? Wow. I don't know about that, you guys. Internet? Here you'll find new challenges every day. Climb your way up the leaderboard to win a cup once the challenge is over. Cups will grant you points to increase your awesomeness level. Uh, okay. Just gonna try this one. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Oh, Mirabella. Thank you very much. Okay, what are we doing? Land of the Living Dead, get there quickly. Okay. I guess we're running. There's another running one. Palti player, can't overstate how much I love this game. Getting this in Splinter Cell Blacklist in the same year was amazing for me. That is a good combo, for sure. We streamed Blacklist a little, a few weeks ago, and it was really fun. Uh, okay. I have to reach 300 meters as fast as possible. Go, 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 go. Oh, it was a little slower than I think it could have been. <laughs> Almost halfway there. Fortunately, I was just doing a level like this. Ooh. Oh, just literally this level. It's just like a time challenge. Come on, come on, get it! I'm not stopping there. I <laughs> like how it shows you <laughs> where other people got, got murked. You did it! Yeah. Take that! Mesar and James and other names I can't pronounce. No, I don't want to. Re I don't want to retry. We're not going to retry. No, it's fine. We're going to exit the level. That was a challenge. Apparently, they got it. E gang, you're going to play this game as well. Nice. Get on back to it. No. Okay, here we go. Oh, Snake, you were there for that Splinter Cell stream. I'm glad you were. Thanks for joining that one. That one was fun. We'll do some more Splinter Cell streams in the future. Those games are a good time. Because I'm perfectly stealthy in them all the time. Is why. For sure. <laughs> uh, we're going to kick it up a notch. 20,000 lums under the sea. Four skulls. Just when you thought this was an easy game. I, I don't know how it's going to go. It's probably going to go okay. No, I want this. The Mysterious Inflatable Island. Oh, is this like one of those big rafts you can put in the middle of a lake and like bring your cooler onto and hang out? Yup! <laughs> it literally is. Oh, yeah. We're just going to lie down. This is how Estelia relaxes. Doing splits in the middle of the ocean. We're just going to have some chill. Midstream water break. Yeah, I'll take a sip. It's important to stay hydrated. Ah, very relaxed. 
relax in time. Let's go! Yahoo! <laughs> oh, the fishies. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish down here. What a rich ecosystem. Come here, I want to eat them. No, no eating fish? Okay. The fish are singing. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a large hammer. Do I need to do something with this hammer? Is that foreshadowing? Am I going to meet some large hammer-wielding underwater creature? Mm. Okay, you want to talk about games you played back in the day. How about Echo the Dolphin? Anyone getting Echo the Dolphin vibes from here? Do you think if I get seen by this light, it's going to be bad? Yeah, probably. Let's just not... Let's not test. You know, let's test it. We got to know what we're up against. Ooh! <laughs> okay. Little zap me with a laser. There we go. Now we know. And knowing is how you know things. Oh, it's coming around here. Do you think I can whack this thing? Do you think I can get totally lasered by something whose behavior I could easily predict? <laughs> yes! Oh! Didn't catch me that time. Too fast. Punch the yellow plants for alums. Yeet Patrol! Ah, Chad coming through. Thanks, Yeet Patrol. It's also like, it is a musical. Like the music and sound effects for this game. Just great. Delightful. Actually, I was looking, I was like reading up about it a little bit, and Christophe Eral, uh, who is a composer who's worked at Ubisoft Montreal, is Duke Doug did the music for this, and I believe he's also on Beyond Good and Evil 2. Look at this scuba toad. What kind of toad needs a... You know what? That toad don't need anything anymore. Oh, the lasers again. <laughs> oh, barrels. Save me from the laser. Pipeline, we got an underwater habitat. Whoa! Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of thing... What kind of juice are you packing, buddy? What are you going to shoot me with? I'm curious. Probably a laser, right? Nope. It's an energy ball that bounces. Oh, come on. Hit that thing. Blow it up. <laughs> Is that a thing? What do you think? You want to try it? The ricochet. It's going. Oh, it just ricocheted even more. <laughs> That's more dangerous. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Secrets. Oh, this is a little handy little shortcut. Oh, no. That's a lot of laser coverage. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Lots of junk in here. Lots of junk. Oh, who would have thought that the mine that first earlier sought to destroy me would now be my ally? You know, just using using the environment to our advantage. That's Estelita vibe. Oh, you can't squeeze between there. No, ma'am. It's okay. We hit the checkpoint. Suavecito. Where's that? Yes. I guess we do a spin attack when we're in the water. Underwater is for spin attacks, as anyone who's been on a swim team knows. Or maybe like a water polo team. I gotta say, water polo is like one of the most exhausting sports I've ever tried to play. And by tried to play, I mean I tried playing regular water polo for like, I don't know, 30, uh, three minutes one day? During my inner tube water polo match, and it was bad. I went back in the inner tube and it was much better. Inner tube water polo, folks. That's where it's at. Feels like I might have missed a uh, little area down here. My spidey sense is tingling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Game sense. That's what we have here at Ubisoft News Plays. Game sense. Smackin' toad sense. Drink, getting little heart friends that follow us around because we freed them from a jar. And they'll die to protect us. Fire Dude, you never played this one? Yo, this game is really fun. Especially if you have anyone that you would ever want to like play a game with. It's like a very um You know how you've like some friends who you want to play a game with and they're like pretty good at games or like they've played it a bunch. Like this is one that you can definitely do with like your more experienced gamer or like folk, folks you know who play games. But it's also one that you can play with people who don't have a ton of experience. The controls are very simple. Uh, it's very forgiving in terms of like, uh, if one person goes down, you can easily get them back. 
and the checkpoints are very generous, so it's like a super accessible one in that regard. Uh, I was just talking earlier about playing with my nieces and nephews, and <laughs> the toughest part, honestly, was uh, keeping them from getting really heated at each other when either of them, like, didn't succeed. <laughs> so, as long as you're willing to, you know, manage the people you're playing with, <laughs> it's super good. Come on! Yeet Patrol, would you be able to plug a PS4 controller into your PC and play two-player that way? I don't actually know. Maybe someone in chat knows has done that. Uh, you could also check uh, support.ub.com. That's where they have a lot of uh, FAQs for Ubisoft games. So something like that might be covered there uh, in terms of like control schemes that it's compatible with. But uh, I mean, I think it's, I'd be optimistic, but I can't say for sure. <laughs> Is it the one down there? I think it's down there. Don't come over here. Yeah, that's what you're talking about, isn't it? Into the habitat. Oh, we got them all! Nope, didn't get them all. Sorry, that spoke too soon. <laughs> that's okay, though. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Give me them, lums. Give me them, lums. Gimme, 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 gimme them. What's going on, Aries? Welcome to the chat. Playing Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. Uh, it's Definitive Edition because it was uh, released for Nintendo Switch. It came after the original re release of Rayman Legends because I believe Rayman Legends came out before the Switch did. Uh, it has a few. It has some added features, like if you're playing in handheld mode, there's some uh, touch control stuff we saw, like with Murph earlier. Uh, this little creature that flies around and helps us out, you do that. Or it has, I think it has some motion control. Oh, we've unlocked Olympus Maximus. Okay, well, first we need to change up who we're playing as. We've got so much Rayman love in the chat. Time to vote. What Rayman costume are we going to play as? Who do we got here? We've got Mario Rayman, because, hey, we're on the Switch. Ray Plummer. Uh, we've got Knight Layman, the limbless knight is a mysterious hero who never takes his helmet off. Some say his head is actually stuck inside. Glowbox, we're going to finish out with you because you're my favorite, but right now it's Rayman time. Classic Rayman, wearing that hoodie. Mm, disco, funky Rayman. Ubisoft Rayman. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Splinter Cell Rayman. And <laughs> what is this? Voss Rayman? <laughs> Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Well, judging by this guy's hair, outfit and haircut, he could certainly help you in that matter. Prince of Persia, Rayman? Ray of Persia, sorry. Hmm. And Edward Kenway, Rayman. Who do we want? Let us know. Uh, je suis Adik. Could you do the 8-bit music levels? Yes, I would love to do that. Can you tell me which levels those are? I don't actually know. I'll see, I see Please Funky Ray. I see Ubisoft Rayman. I see Edward Kenway votes. First one to get two votes is going to be the one. Who's it going to be? Which Rayman are we going to play as? Assassin Rayman says Fire Dude. All right. It's Edward Kenway Rayman then. Oh, wait. They're both assassins. No, that's Prince of Persia. My bad. Here we go. What has he got? He's got the little belt. You can see. Yeah, he's got the hoodie. What's he got for shoes? Got some like uh, old timey shoes. When did shoes start getting good? Like, when do you think you could wear the first pair of like good, comfortable shoes? Like in in human history? I don't know. You know the merits of going barefoot or having very minimal shoes. Sort of like let's leave that off the table in terms of like. When could you, like, get a shoe that you put your foot in and you're like, dang, this is good and comfy. It's not going to, like, fill with water and I'm not going to, like, have hella blisters because I wore it around for three hours. Olympus Maximus, let's go! 1800s reference. <laughs> All right, I like it. Okay, let's see what's up with Olympus Maximus. New level. Shields up. And down. Ooh, jump kick? 
some fists. Let's see those fists of fury. Yeah. Look at this dancing cypress tree. What's going on back there? You gonna move again, buddy? I wanna see that tree move again. Did you see? It? I didn't make that up. Ha! It's moving again. I wanna hang out with that tree. That tree looks like a fun tree. Mm, bam! <laughs> Also, just the charge when the hand gets over big. It's just fun. This is just good. Okay. Turnips. Thank you. Whoa! What was that? Did this just go do a cartwheel? How did I do that cartwheel? Oh, it's like a diagonal down kind of thing. Hello, hello. Oh, this place isn't so bad. Point. Oh, look at the constellation up there. The pig, piggy, pig constellation. Flying pig Pegasus. It's gotta be it. Right? Come on. They love puns. This is a punny game. Uh, I was just uh, getting warmed up. Just gonna be singing here. It's a musical game, you know. Ah. Oh, look at this. The platonic ideal of glow box. Perfect pear-like shape. The delicate skinny arms leading to his massive three-fingered hand. Truly. Get turn it! Oh, this dude! Wow! He's got one dude! By, like, basic fire breathing. It's fine, we're getting warmed up. Let's go, Murph. No more time for admiring art. Sorry, Glowbox. We gotta go. Not this time, sucker. So yeah, I'm just tapping a button at this point to move this little Murph character. He's is under my control. Wait, come back here. No, I will free you. Oh, I think I'm over the pit. Oh, <laughs> I tried to move it under myself, but Murph moved too fast. So that's the thing. If I was playing this in handheld mode, like I can basically toggle the shield back and forth. But if I'm playing in handheld mode on the Switch, there's a touch screen, right? So I can slide it to my whims, uh, hither and thither. How, how close are you going to come? Buddy, you just going to go in a loop over there? Okay. Yes, I am Nicholas. This is Rayman Legends. Technically, it's the definitive edition because it's on the Switch. Oh, no. Okay, you'll come back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Eat Patrol. Thank you. like having you in chat. Don't you, don't you grumble at me, little, little purple demon. I know you're just trying to live your life here, but get turnipped. Oh, your friend got turnipped. I know you all want a chance to get turnipped. I only have so many turnips to go around. I'm very sorry. Oh, get him. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're rescuing. We're bopping. We're... Oh! <laughs> get roasted! Get absolutely flamed from the heavens. Zeus, I'm putting that one on you. I know your thing's more like lightning bolts, but come on. I was fully a Zeus maneuver. You know. You know Zeus. Can't be that. We learned a lot about Zeus last Friday when we streamed Immortals Phoenix Rising. Zeus was talking a lot of mess to Prometheus. I know Prometheus made him mad, but like, jeez. Zeus doesn't think nothing of throwing down a, a barrage of flames onto a innocent Rayman cosplaying as a pirate. But he just wants to dress up like his favorite protagonist from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We all know Rayman's a big fan. <laughs> Light of Madness. This is not Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh, okay, so, like, this is one where you could, like, I have to turn. I have to turn this. I think this is another one that would, uh-oh, 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 that would uh, be a touch control, be like a motion control thing. Uh, on if you were playing the handheld. We played Immortals Phoenix Rising on a live stream. It was kind of the first live look at gameplay. Uh, last week on Friday, you can see the stream replay on our YouTube channel. Where am I trying to go? Okay, over there. And get you. Got him. Puzzled. 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 Bleeth, when Rayman next game? Oof, wish I knew. I like literally don't know. Uh, though, though this is Ubisoft news, you know, it isn't Ubisoft secret insights into uh, production schedules or games that may or may not be happening, because literally I have no idea. Oh no! 
Oh, I see where these flames are coming from. It's not Zeus. It's these little demons in the background with the huge cannons. I mean, I guess, you know, technically I am beating the crap out of their colleagues. Like, I understand if you are a little, you know, not happy about that. Mm, okay. I want to get this one. And boop, a power stomp. It's fair. It's fair. They're mortars. They're not uh, lightning bolts from on high. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, boosh. Boodly, scooty, boosh. Um, yeah, okay, well, thanks. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Hey, Fahrenheit. Says, hey, Chris, Raymond means a lot to people in the crowd right now. Could you please give a shout-out to Chris falling in a pit? I don't know why I would write that. That's weird. <laughs> Please give a shout out to at Rayman Together on Twitter. They've been helping unite the committee and community in so many ways. Hey, check it out. I I don't have any knowledge about Rayman Together, but Fahrenheit M M R in the chat. Uh, if you folks are interested in connecting with some Rayman fans, check it out. Maybe Fahrenheit. Please be legit. Keep trolling me. Thanks. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is mischievousness is part of the Rayman world. No. It'd be cool. I want to check that out after the stream. But I have some teensies to save. And some lums to send to their untimely demise. I mean, also save. Also, collect and use as currency. Which is better? I don't know. Oh, hi! It's a friendly wizard! Um, no, I don't... Okay, it's not punching me. Oh, I got punch missiles! Yeah, who wants to get boxed from all the way over here? Ah, <laughs> you guys did. Or maybe you didn't, but... Burf! Oh! Oh, why did you do the extra dump? Oh, I'm still in it! Oh, I'm not in it anymore! Wow, what a roller coaster! <laughs> get pizunched. Oh, I didn't even press the punch button. I just moved Murf at an opportune time. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You think you're the only one who can project out, huh? I don't think so, buddy! How am I gonna get that coin? Mm, like this is how... Parkour! I'm going up here. Uh, wait. Which way is the... Probably the way. Okay, this is the way. This is the way, way that I want to go to the way. Use the hold punch! Oh! That was nice! Light of Madness with the tip! I love it. I feel, is this gonna like oh I see boom they can like destroy with their fire breath my uh, seems like a fine place to be it's just magical swords floating towards me Not really a fan of that oh huh. oh where am I nope oh, okay uh, lost track you ever lose track of yourself in video games it's like I'm looking at the screen I know I'm there I'm looking at the action but it just happens sometimes it'd be like that oh what oh you think you can oh. I'm trying to sneak one in on this dude a regular one got him just kidding why would I use the charge one All right, get away from him oh, just jump jump right into him hit him with your head everyone knows that's the way you do things with your head oh, that would hurt charge punch heater Oh, what's up, swords? You think you can get me? I don't think so. <laughs> swords love me. Taunt them. You ever make the same mistake twice? I never do. So, I mean, I just feel bad if that's uh, if that's a thing that you do. <laughs> Ike is saying, I feel weird watching a Rayman live stream as Michelle Ansel leaves the company. That's right. I mean, I feel weird streaming it. I did had no idea that Michel Hansel would be announcing his departure from not just Ubisoft, but the video game uh, industry as a whole. He announced it this morning on his personal Instagram. And oh, what was that right there? Just more things. And so you can, if you look up Michel Hansel on Instagram, you can see his statement. Uh, but yeah, he was a creator of Rayman. And so just very serendipitous that I ended up streaming this today. Hey, get heat. Okay. We taunt the swords because that's a smooth move. Oh, that was close. Okay. Um, go. Okay. 
Oh wow, that was effective. Okay, what I need to do is get this sword off my back. It doesn't work, just run away! <sighs> Victory. Let's all do a pose. <laughs> Gotta do the poses to get the smooches, okay? That's just, that's just my philosophy. Mm, okay, we're bouncing. Ooh. Get heated! Thank, can't thank you enough, Light of Madness, for that tip. Oh, what? You're. Oh, okay. Look, don't panic, jump into fireballs. You ever say you're gonna not do something and then immediately do it? Me neither. Hoop, 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 hoop. <laughs> oh, the fireballs, man. Hoop, hoop. Oh, what you think about that? I freed the, the person and then almost got totally marked. Shout out to the low box. Punch, punch. This is fine. Oh, that was close. Oh no, oh no, I need you back. I need it back. Doink. Doink. Oh! Fly, fly! <laughs> that was so close. Oh. Boink. Boink. Harvey, come here. No, not the heat. Oh gosh. Yes. Come on. Boxing level power. <sighs> no, I don't think so, buddy. Not from all the way over there. I see you. I see you. Get me out of here. I want to go into this hugely ominous storm cloud. Who wouldn't? Okay, at least I got some heart juice. Jump, shield, move. Yeah. The timing. Uh-oh. This seems like a... Look, it's Zeus. You guys remember Zeus from when I was talking mess about Zeus, right? Oh, okay. It turns out Zeus doesn't miss. Zeus don't miss. Whew. Glizzy Gobble, I remember playing this as a kid and absolutely loved it. Played it every day after school. Yes. Excellent. Come on. Boom. To the moon! <laughs> that was fun. Okay. We're going to get the timing down. Now let's start moving this thing. Oh, it wasn't fast enough. Zeus really doesn't play. Oh, no, wait. Stop. Stop. Oh, come back. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Okay. I'm underneath it. Oh, God, that was really close. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, very stressful. Okay. It's fine. No, I do like this. I do. No, don't do the smash. No. Oh, gosh. Thank goodness. Wow, that was really close. Woo. Did we get them all? No, I didn't. That's okay. I left the turn up on the table. No problem. Hey, Pew. Hi. Welcome to the chat. We are feeling great. Feeling good. Got the bronze. Probably got the silver, also at least. Gold? First gold of the stream? Did I get a gold earlier? I can't remember. I don't know. This is going to be tight. Ooh, got it! Solid gold, baby! <sighs> yeah. Excellent. Okay. PK saying, I even made a face mask based on pirates from Rayman 2 because I love them so much. Yes! I love it. The creativity. It is like a game that like exudes that kind of joy and creativity. So I'm glad that that like you like brought that into your life in, in a real way. That's very cool. Okay. Now, which ones are the? There's no place to lock a princess. Please help me. Okay. Amazing maze. The Great Lava Pursuit. I feel like the Great Lava Pursuit might be one of the musical ones. I don't actually know, so let's try. Boom! <laughs> Gotta get revved up, you know? Let's go! Boink! Boink! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Get turnip. What you got for me, wizard? The boxing glove, which I will call. I don't have a good nickname for it. Nothing's coming to mind. You're honking a nose? That's just not nice. I mean, also the tying up of a uh, in, of an individual and abducting her in some sort of gyrocopter. Murphy, where you at? What's up, my dude? Give me that flying shield. We gotta go, go, go. Can you think I can, like, pop this dude? Probably not. Probably, like, uh, just there to taunt me. Oh, no, that wasn't a... <laughs> what did I do? I, like, kind of jumped? 
Don't kind of jump. Just jump. Jump or do not. There is no kind of. Pretty sure Rayman said that. Pretty sure that's a Rayman original concept and quote. Oh, right, I can shoot. I was just like, okay, bring it down here, Murph. Thank you. Murph, thanks. Oh, no, Murph. Uh. <laughs> Great recovery. Uh, for sure did that on purpose. Thank you, uh, Murph. Oh. Oh, the bounce on the heart. I need to give me one of those hearts. I need another heart. Save me from the lava. That's why you always... Merp, do you have any ideas? Any suggestions here, pal? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's the it's the flying stuff. I know this. I know what to do. I've played this game uh, for an hour already on stream. Yeet Rob. Play Castle Rock in the Teenies in Trouble area. Okay, Castle Rock. Remind me of that when this level's over. Oh, that was close to lava. Oh, that was not lava, but fireball. On my focus. Actually, like this. Nope. Okay. That was just not even fire. That was just face checking. Rayman, though he does have a strong nose, uh, cuts a very uh, almost aquiline profile. Uh, you know, not not his weapon of choice. The nose. That is. Uh, bouncing on the head. <laughs> That's a noise when I get when I die in a fire. That's what I picture. A lava fire specifically. There's lots of different noises for different types of fire. I fought a lot about this. No, I haven't. That would be very morbid. <laughs> I just don't like to think about stuff like dying in a fire. But, you know, I live in California, so sometimes I'm thinking about it, that is. Okay, too grim. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what am I trying to do? Thread the needle of the flames? Okay, let's just put a lot of put, we're putting a lot of heat down down river. Just clearing the way. Uh, almost. Okay, you know we're just gonna thread the needle on that one. No, again. Oh, I'm getting up. so close, Yohana. So close last time. Don't worry, you got it this time. Ba -ba boom. Ba -ba bang. Oh, what underneath? So close to okay, but not gonna bounce up into the fire at least. No, don't just leave him. Don't have to. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Okay. So basically, what we're doing here is going now. Did it. Bing. Okay, we're back on track. <gasps> More glow box statues to admire. Look at the strong upright posture. The verticality of not just the spear, but the spirit of Globox, truly a paragon of strength and of fortitude in these trying times. Gotta love the Globox. Hip, hip, hip. Uh, oh, 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 that was close. <laughs> Almost got good. Uh, technical term. Um, probably needed to bounce on that and then bring the shield over. I'm thinking. Murph, get it. Yeah, bounce. Shield, bounce. Yep, that's fine. I was worried something weird was going to happen there, but it didn't. Instead, we got a secret! Johan, and yeah, Globox makes me feel poetic, you know? It just, he's a very inspiring character. Okay. Uh, I think that's how we're going to do it. Not too slidey. Not too slidey. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is another one of those that I think is a uh, touch control. Oh, give me that. Oh, what a recovery. Oh, he's got it, folks. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Ezio Auditore, welcome to the chat. We're dressed up as Edward Kenway, your old buddy. Okay. Back in the heat. Not this time. Friendo. It's like a. It's like saying friend, but you don't have a friend. Hmm. Very sinister. Okay, I just literally walked into that one. Thank goodness I had a heart. Not the smoothest. I feel like there was maybe something I. Okay, nope. This is all fine. This is fine. This is very fine. I love that fire animation, though. I was looking at Murphy! I thought I was Murphy! I'm like, man, I'm flying so high so easily. Why would I ever think I was Murphy? I haven't been Murphy one single time. Video games, man. They're tricky. 
They are tricky. Yeehaw. That was just for spite. I didn't need to do that. Gotcha, that time, but... Oh, I didn't. I jumped in the same place again. Fine. Everything's fine. Murph, Murph, Murph. Okay, we're cool. Goldbox, give me more strength. We're flying. We're not flying too fast. Oh, we're not flying too. We're flying just the right speed. A perfect balance between not speed and speed. That's what we do here. Going up. Ooh, <laughs> such a good sound effect when you discover a secret. Ooh, like that's what I want to say. Okay, here we go. Uh, not sure how this one's gonna go. But... <laughs> Straight into, straight into the fire. Into the fire! Not this time. Boom, got it. Second time's the charm. Mm, mm, mm. I need to use the punch jump more. Vortex Leblage. Punch jump? Like jump and punch? I'm not sure what the punch jump is. Okay, here we go. Eat patrol, I'm gonna do it. Normally we end our streams at about 11, but we got started a little late because of, you know, definitely everything going fine from a technical perspective, as it always does. Uh, so I'm gonna do one more level after this one. Don't you worry. Just for you. Oh, why did it go so fast? It's back? Oh, more lava came? Wow, that was a confusing series of events. If you punch first, it will give you more speed if you time to jump around. Whoa, look at that. That was good. Just gonna work our way in a working leg fashion down this stack. I know this is ground pound, but it's fun. Oh wait, punch jump. Punch! Oh gosh, that was <laughs> that was too fast. Oh, that was it. Okay. Nobody. Let's go, buddy. Okay, this is where things are getting a little dicey. In terms of the structural integrity of this cave, I'm feeling very calm and collected. What could go wrong? I got you, buddy. Uh, where are we going now? Okay, over here. Oh, you were there for me. That was a good punch jump option scenario. I did it. Oh, it goes on both sides. So rude. Come here. No! Ah, I don't care about that anymore. I just want to finish the level. Sorry. Oh, ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, that was fine. That was a fine one. You know, sometimes Murphy just, you know, he does he does does great work. Listen, not not to take away anything from my man Murph. Oh. <laughs> oh, but sometimes you just gotta be careful with what he's doing. You gotta sync up with him. You gotta get on his level. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Murphy, Murphy, Murphy! Oh heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. T Bone, what's up? Hi. Hello. Okay. Punch jump. Punch jump. Hi. What are you gonna do? Give him a smack. Oh, get honked. Oh, you're free. Get out of here, jabroni. Magic hat guy. Oh, wow. He screamed a skeleton at me. You don't scream a skull at someone unless you really mean it. That's the Rayman code. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Okay. Zoop, zoop, zoop. 650. There we go. Whew. Okay. We we're going to do one more level. It was going to be Castle Rock in Teensy's in Trouble, I believe. And. Close. We've had some Rayman fun. Like, literally, with the Rayman character here. 
but I think you know I'm going to need to do a quick character change before we take on the final level. And you know who it's going to be. It's going to be the one. The only. The big blue rotund. Heavy slapping. Big smiling. Absolute vibe champ of Rayman Legends. Globox! Boop! Can my gold glow box slap my, me in the face? No, his hand. His hand. Maybe if he did a slap jump. Nope. Oh, sorry, Barb. Shout out to Barb, real quick. Barb, say hi to the folks. Yeah. Ooh. But we're not playing as Barb right now. Or this wizard nerd. I don't know what his name is. I'm sorry. That wasn't nice. What is your name, friend? Grand Minimus. Sorry, I just had a bad experience with a teensy with a tall hat. So, please. I know, you know, that's not you. So... Still playing Glowbox though. Glowbox time! Teensy's in trouble. Let's go. Uh, boom. Bang. Okay, hopefully I have it unlocked. I said it was. Alright, Creepy Castle. I've done these ones. Ropes course. Quicksand. Rescue Alicia. How to shoot your dragon. Breathing fire. Oh, Castle Rock. I do not have the juice for Castle Rock, unfortunately. Uh, so, I mean, how would I, how would I... I guess, what if I... Let's see if we can unlock this character real quick. And then if maybe it'll just, like, unlock all three of those? Who knows. Glowbox is going to do a little rescuing here. It is so fun. Callum Baird saying, The problem with Teensies is they can never decide who their king is. Hey. You know, it's hard. It's hard to, uh... Oh, we got Murphy back on the scene. It's hard to know who's going to read the Teensy Kingdom in the right way. Especially when they're in, in Diaspora, you know? They're all scattered around, relying on Ray. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a fire runaway one. Great. Everything's fine. I definitely know how to do this, as demonstrated by my countless successes! <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Yeah, now we're in the groove. No, do it, do it! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the flippity flaps, not the jumpity, the Murphy do things button. Murphy do things. Yeah, I just gotta stay doing things, Murphy. Yeep, yeep. Oh wow, I didn't go far enough. Darn. Hello, folks, joining the chat. Glad to have you here. At the near the tail end of this stream, we got maybe one more level in us. If we unlock the Castle Rock one, we'll do another level. If not, this will be the last one. Why did I move that twice? Oh, good recovery. Glowbox has got it, folks. Don't you worry about old Globy. Glowbox is a champ. Please squish those things. No, Glowbox, flap your box or your glow, whatever thing you do. Uh, your wings, yes, wings. <laughs> arms, flappy arms. Wow. Sorry, Glowbox. I'm really just gonna walk right into that gnarly old crusty person thing. Crustabust? Just imagine having the flow to you. It's just all perfectly interesting. Like a number of you in the chat, probably. Who was saying they did they like hundo percent of this game? I'm impressed. Kills! No! <laughs> Ooh, I'm not coming back from that one. Womp womp. You fade saying, Glowbox is surprisingly spry for being an absolute unit. Yes. Hence, you, you're starting to understand my sheer admiration of Glowbox. It's just such an impressive and inspirational figure. Okay. Smack. Swack. Oh, we got a good throw going on. Not, not, oh, why did I snip it? Murphy. Oh, bless you for your loyalty in snipping that thing that led to my demise. You know? I just appreciate falling into a pit. Callum, you definitely 100 percent of this at one point. Shout out to the Wii U. Heck yeah. Okay, that was, you know, that was a move. Oh. Alright. Gotta get recentered here. I'm just getting caught up. Not not doing Glowbox proud. But you know, Glowbox is very uh, magnanimous and forgiving, so I know he's not really mad. He's just wishing look at that smile. He's just having a ball out here. He's really just wanting me to succeed, and that's the vibe I need. Glowbox, you are my spirit animal. Oh, yeah. 
doing it. Uh, yep. It's good. Stop torturing whatever that thing was. Probably a bum. Oh. Hibbity ho. Hibbity ho. Hibbity ho. Hibbity ho. Oh, ha <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Oh, that was close at the end there. Almost choked. Yeah. All right. Xbox 360. Oh, jeez. Heart stuck. There you go. How a pew. How is a good question. Ooh but I did it. Now let's see. I'm going to rescue somebody, I think. Show me the big hand, Glowbox. Whoosh. Now, unlock all subsequent levels. Huh? Probably not gonna happen. Probably needs, like, hit some threshold. But I feel like I'm probably at the threshold for Teensy's in trouble. Third level of awesomeness! Y'all, couldn't have done it without you. Elysia. Cool. Uh, I'm not gonna jump in there because I need to stay with the glow box. But, like, maybe I need to actually rescue her by... Wait. Maybe I need to, like, actually finish the rescue by getting her out of painting. Let's just do this. I do dig the bat wings. I for sure dig the bat wings. But no, I need I need my glow box back. Alright, well whatever. We're just gonna see if it's possible. And actually, you know what? Glowbox had a real fun moment. We would Oh uh, wait, come on. Unlock it now. What do I what do I gotta do? Probably unlocked all the levels beforehand. Okie dokie! Uh <laughs> Alas, I'm not going to be able to play that Castle Rock level requested, but I did have a ton of fun playing Rayman Legends Definitive Edition on this stream. Super happy y'all could join in and watch uh, and share your memories of playing Rayman, other Rayman games and Rayman Legends uh, have brought a lot of joy to folks. And this one just is really, like, I have a good time every time I play it. I hope <laughs> you can see that, even though I'm not, like, you know, the most, like, excellent, like, Rayman player, but still having fun out here. Uh, and, yeah, it's available on a ton of systems, including the Nintendo Switch, which is the one we were playing it on today. So go ahead and look up Rayman Legends if you want to play. Play it with some folks. It's a good old time. Uh, just use the Ubisoft hack to unlock the level. Light of Madness. You know how much easier my job would be if we had one of those? Woo! But we don't. So uh, instead, we will just uh, go ahead and... Get back to the main gallery. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. Ca <laughs> Go play the Castle Rock level, folks. If anyone is streaming the class Castle Rock level, let us know. Uh, but I'm just going to jump and speak with the Bubble Dreamer. This dude looks like a fun yep. challenge. Is great. All right, folks. We're going to be back next week with more Ubisoft news plays. Follow the channel if you want to join. We do casual like Let's Play vibes like this of Ubisoft games twice a week, Wednesday mornings and Friday mornings. Well, morning Pacific time. Uh, this is now 11 a.m. Uh, where I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, we start at 10 a.m., so about an hour ago. That's when we start. You just follow. You just get a notification. It's cool. Vortex LeBeige, play Driver San Francisco one day. We will look into it for sure. In the meantime, have a great weekend, everybody. Have fun out there. Uh, spend some time thinking about Glowbox and how wonderful Glowbox is and what Glowbox means to you today. We'll see you next time. Bye, folks. <laughs> Stop.